I've been with you a lot of years, and one of the things that I've noticed is is your heart to spread the message. Like you, you have you seem to have a real passion for spreading the message, giving the message, spreading the message, serving mm -hmm. people, serving the nations through the message the Lord's giving you. I know that for years, I mean, people would take your tapes and just copy them everywhere, mm -hmm. and and you loved it. You love just serving people through that right. thing. Can you share a little bit about where that passion, the passion to share the message? I mean, to be honest with you, what's been birthed out of that, I mean, streaming is, streaming for us is all about your passion right. to share the message with the nations. I mean, all, everything we do with our product, all of it's about serving the nations through the message. Can you maybe talk a little bit about that passion you have for the message to get out there? He's given us something to say. If you have something to say, you have a responsibility to, as the scriptures says, cast the seed beside all waters. The responsibility is for us to, to make it available liberally. And, and it will flourish wherever the settings are right. But that's not my job to find those settings. My job is to take what God's given us. Is you, you can't to whom much is given, much is required. You cannot have generous experiences in God and not respond with uh, uh, anything other than a generous heart. And so, uh, you know what we do here. Whenever somebody has a real encounter with the Lord, they have a breakthrough in their personal ministry in life, we immediately export it. We just immediately take it out. And I want people to know that they have access to whatever... You know, whatever goes on here, I mean, goodness, we just want to, we want to take what we've experienced, what we write, what we record, what we put on our video, CDs, whatever, just to get it out around the world. It's just our responsibility is you've got to seed the clouds. You've got to do what you can to make that stuff available to transform Christian culture because Christian culture, true kingdom culture is the answer for the, all the political dilemmas, the economic crises, yeah. all that stuff. The answer is the kingdom of God. It's the yeah. King King Jesus. And uh, so we've got to make this stuff available to people. So that's what we do. We just, uh, you know, when I, I get my little CDs that I take out, I mean, I encourage people to take them and copy them. You know, don't, uh, I mean, we obviously want to sell stuff. We want to make stuff available. You know, we've got to pay for what we do, but the priority is we've got to get stuff out there. Yeah. And uh, and so I will. I'm gonna I'm gonna err on the side of making things available for people uh, that they have easy easy access to. And right now the internet is is kind of the the key for that because yeah. people can just access you know our world here uh, on their own terms. All of the world at any time. It's true. Yeah. It's true. Even even where there's slow internet, you know, we know of people that go into these little. Uh, internet cafes, you know, and so yeah. out of the way place in Africa, and they sit there and they download the message and yeah. they take it back to their group, and it's really amazing what what the Lord has made available through yeah. internet, and through streaming, through that kind of stuff. It's just, you know, there are entire groups of people, uh, uh, ministries that sit and they'll watch the service, you know, and they. And they get their impact by by being able to download something across the miles. And it's really amazing, but we really have an an obligation to make this stuff available. Yeah, you know, and it's not certainly not because we have all the answers, because that's far from the truth. But we got some. Yeah, and so we're going to make them available. Uh, you know, you mentioned the kingdom. It's always seen that uh, even in talking right now, we've never. We've never wanted to point people towards Bethel or our movement. It's never been about Bethel. It's, I, I, like I said, I've been with you for a lot of years. It's never been about Bethel. It's never been about our movement. It's never been about you. It really has been about the kingdom, and it's been about um, a scene that expands. We talk a little bit about that, about you know, even sitting here talking right now about Bethel, about our heart to get stuff out, about the, the message the Lord's given us. Even in the midst of all of that, really your heart being the kingdom more than just our movement. Yeah, it's the only thing worth promoting. 
You know, it's a self-promotion is nauseating. And um, uh, fame is not, not a wonderful thing. Um, but the kingdom is. And, uh, and we have a real responsibility to anything that God gives us. You know, I don't have anything because I worked for it. I've worked. But I don't have anything in God because I work for it. Everything is by grace. And because I got it freely, I have to give it freely. We have to make stuff available. And uh, while people will come here, uh, they continue to go to Toronto, be transformed, they continue to go to Harvest Rock and these places around the world as they should. Um, and I'm thankful that people can come here and be touched by God and changed. But uh, but he's the goal. It's not uh, it's not Reading or Toronto or some other place. Uh, but as long as God is using us, you know, I want us to be able to. I want to represent Him well. You know, people come to me because they expect to meet God. I don't want them to get me. I mean, you know, they're going to get a piece of me. But I mean, the point is, I I don't, I don't want them to get well, only what I have to offer because I don't have to offer, a whole bunch to offer. You know, I can't. I can't fix a headache, let alone cancer. You know, I can't, I can't, I can't answer my own financial dilemmas, let alone some of the business that's going bankrupt. Yeah. But Jesus can. And if I can stand in His shoes and serve well, and represent Him well, and bring His Word into a moment, and pray that prayer of faith that changes something, man, I want to go for it. I want to do it. And that's what we do. That's what we do. And people come from all over the world here with that heart's cry because they see a certain measure of success or a certain measure of breakthrough, a certain measure of God doing something and they're hungry for it. They have every right to it as, as, much, as, as much as we do. And I love that story where people who start work at the end of the day get the same pay as everyone else. Everyone's got legal access to this stuff. And I want to make sure that that little church in the country has the same access to it, as well as that big church that could get lost in the metropolitan area. They have access to it. And the uh, poor country and the, the rich country. You know, everybody has needs to have access to what God is doing. And, and that's kind of our mandate. It's just to, it's, it's not to pretend like, like uh, that we're the answer, because that would be kind of dumb. But we, we know the answer. Yeah. We know the person. We know what his presence is like. We know what it looks like when he shows up. We know, we know what it is to see impossible things turn around. <laughs> and we've got everything we can do to make sure that that becomes available to everybody who's hungry as long as we have opportunity to make that stuff to bring it within reach when people can grab a hold of that. That's, that's the mandate. Truth is what sets people free. We've got to get the truth of the, the reality of a, of a gospel of power, an authentic gospel that confronts and changes stuff. We've, we've got to do everything we can to make that available.